tell us a little bit about your character because he's um, slightly downtrodden, but but he takes it in good humour, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Um, Amberson doesn't fit the um, expected mould of a boy at this particular school. Um, he is imaginative and sensitive and um, very awkward and um, not very athletically capable. And it's one of those schools where if you're not a, a king on the sports field, you're sort of nothing. Yeah, you're sort of yeah, the underbelly. And therefore, um, he doesn't have the confidence when this new girl arrives, Agnès, to the school, the daughter of a French teacher, um, uh, to be honest with her about how he feels. Like we were just saying, this um, idea of the underdog, and that's what's quite touching, I think, about Amberson, at least it was on paper when I first read the script, was someone who, although you're frustrated with him for not being honest and mm. um, not assuming um, his own imagination, um, he sort of relentlessly keeps trying as well. And I think that's... He's such a trier. He's such a trier, and I love a trier. Because he goes, in, I'm not sure what's the game they play. They play some sort of ridiculous game, which is yeah. sort of a bit like rugby, but in a stream. Yeah. Um, and he just, and he's so it's a bad. Very good description of it. Is that, is that, yeah. um, and he just goes back and back, doesn't he? Which you've got to admire. Yeah, there's something admirable about, although it's sort of hopeless, yeah. his um, sort of irrepressibility and, um, yeah, his willingness to sort of be part of the team and, 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 and keep trying. And we're talking <laughs> about the fact that it's a classic tale. It actually sits so well in that sort of um, school environment. That's a British, classic British school environment, doesn't it? It works yeah. perfectly. Yeah, I think um, I think we feel quite fondly in the UK about our underdogs and um, our triers, and I think therefore, although this is a f based on a French tale, Cyrano de Bergerac, um, uh, it's Pauline Etienne, who in fact, in fact is um, from uh, Belgium, um, who she manages all the possible. French coolness you need and all the awkwardness and the underdogness is... Uh, that explains quite a lot because it's, it's based in a sort of British um, boarding institution, yeah, institution yeah, exactly. slash boarding yeah, school, exactly. isn't it? And they really play up to some, again, of the sort of ridiculous traditions. Yeah, and, uh, and they're ridiculous, but actually they have very close... Um, they're very... They're, 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 they're real things yeah. which actually happen Every in Every time the founder's name is mentioned, they all have to stand up and stamp yeah, their feet and in a certain ridiculous way. sport that they play and their ridiculous traditions and rituals and hierarchies, which in the film feels like something absurd, but actually have really close similarities to things um, that are actually happening in schools even today. Oh. See, it works, but it's the wrong bloke. <laughs> the wrong bloke, man. <laughs> Oh, it's, 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 really, it's really well done. And many people have seen you play young Alan Turing in Imitation Game. What is, what, what's sort of next on the horizon for you? Um, I have a film that I made in France in the French language um, that will be released in October this year called The Translators, which is exciting for me, playing in a different language for the first time. And I really felt for Pauline Etienne, who plays Agnès in this film, because... Um, working in a different language is a whole nother kettle of fish. But, um, I can imagine. Yeah. You did a great job. Um, that's called The Translators. Yeah. Right. Um, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you very much. You and it, it really made me giggle, so thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, Old Boys is out in cinemas on Friday. Uh, that is it from us this morning. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow from 6. Have a lovely